Hello my trusty Sawyer Knights, Sawyer189 here, and this is my review for Black Panther Long Live the King, number one. This is a digital uh, first book, you know, like published on uh, Comiology's uh, streaming platform, not streaming, but their, their unlimited platform, and it was made exclusive for that format, but it has since been printed in paper in a graphic novel format, I believe. I don't know if you can get the single issues. But I know it's in a trade format right now. And it just came out like this week in the trade format. So I decided this was a good time to talk about this comic book. You know, since now it's more r rapidly available to the, like, you know, hardcore, like, you know, paper readers. Which is the majority of the fan base, I would like to imagine. So, I have some... This issue was kind of interesting, kind of not. It was, uh, it was very... I don't know how I feel, especially about the art. I don't know how I feel about the art yet. It was, uh, it's very, like, simple in, uh, you know, like, lightweight, I guess is a word I could use. Just in the way it doesn't really do a lot with it. Like, there's plenty of detail in the art, you know, but it just feels very simple. It feels very casual art. Like, it feels like the kind of art I would see in, like, something that's set in the real world. Like a, you know, like a, just like a drama kind of book. It's not something, it's not the kind of art I would expect to see out of like a high fantasy type of story like Black Panther where there's a lot of science, a lot of machinery and stuff like that, a lot of, you know, crazy stuff going on usually. Uh, like as you can see in this panel, the costume is very, very simple. It's very, uh, it actually is very, uh, it's very close to the comic book, the original like Silver Age comic book look. You know, it doesn't have all the high tech like sleek metal look that the uh, newer costumes have. And I kind of like that, but other than that, the art's not really that great for me. One thing about this book that is kind of weird to me is I feel like they really missed a mark on trying to catch the, like the you know the concept of Wakanda and like, especially from the movie. Like, if you watch the movie and then you go read this book, it doesn't feel like the same Wakanda at all to me. And to me, that's a very uh, missed opportunity because I mean. You know, it's a big giant blockbuster movie. You want to make it at least feel like the same place, so that people that watch the movie and then they go read a Black Panther book. This might be a lot of people's first Black Panther book, so I feel like you need to have a little bit of connection to it to really catch those people. But this Wakanda feels so different. It feels so much more modern than like our world. For example, look at the people's clothes in this panel. They look very normal, very like average citizen clothes. It looks like a, it looks like a normal waiting room. I will give the book praise for having a little bit different kind of a story. Like, this is not a story that I would expect from a Black Panther comic book. And again, I'm not, like, the biggest Black Panther fan. I haven't, like, sat there and went, went through the whole catalog and read all the old stuff and the newer stuff. Uh, I read a little bit of the, like, mid-2000s run, which is really cool, by the way, when he comes to America and, like, he's, like, has, like, a bunch... Yeah, anyway, I'm going too far ahead of myself. But I did I did like the story here because it was interesting because the fact, the fact that he's not fighting, like outsider invaders or anything like that it's more it's like it's actually a creature it's like this big giant creature that's like causing earthquakes all kinds of destruction but all the black panther sees it no one else actually sees the creature you know everybody else in the council and just thinks it's a earthquake but you know chitala sees that it's a monster and it's interesting because it's like did he really see it or is it just like a vision or like what's going on and i like that idea that he that he, his faith is put in question it just seems like a lot of the magic and, intri and intrigue of Wakanda being this vastly different civilization is lost in the art and in just the way it's showcased. It doesn't really feel like... There are some scenes where it feels like it, but for the most part it feels like it's just you're looking at normal city. Another very interesting story for it is that the creature seems to like absorb all the energy, all the kinetic absorbing energy out of the vibranium. So all the vibranium in Wakanda just seems to be useless now, which is really kind of cool. And it makes even Black Panther's suit has no has no like absorbing capabilities, so he's pretty much just left with his with his natural fighting you know ability as his only resource, which is pretty cool. I like that. I like kind of stripping him down bare bones for a story. It's pretty cool, and uh, it also it's interesting because it's like you take away the main thing that Wakanda is known for, the thing they they rely on. They rely very heavily on vibranium. And you realize that. And you realize that without it, they're not they're not really all that effective as a country, and as a like you know military. So I'm interested to see like how that how that plays out if they keep it going that way for a little while, and to see how the citizens and, and then the council and the military how they deal with not having their biggest weapon, their biggest resource. All in all, I think this was an okay first issue. Art the art is a big a big 
turn turn down for me. But other than that, I kind of like this. The story was interesting enough. It's a good setup issue. Hopefully, it gets a lot better. Uh, but I, I would like to know from you guys: Are any of you guys Black Panther fans? Do any of you guys have a, like a have read a lot of Black Panther? And if you have, let me know if the art style and the like story, you know, ideas in this issue, if they reflect what you know of Wakanda. Like, does this feel like the Wakanda you've you know and love, or is this like something different? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.